Okay, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to go to the desktop instead of the workshop, and I'm going to show you how to determine material dimensions when it comes to angles in your furniture. And what I mean by that is I have design intent or requirements for this, this desk that I built. And by the way, this is the one I built last week in the video above, and I also have the description. And I wanted to know how long I should cut my legs and stretchers and aprons to fit those exact requirements. Whenever I want to enhance my skills, I like to put it on a spectrum from what's the best to the beginner level and what's in between. And when I started out and kind of designing furniture, I'm more or less putting the pieces, I'm guessing, I'm putting the pieces where I think they belong, which is great because it gives you an idea of what that may look like, but it's not something you want to take to the cut list. Now the next level of improving your measurement quality is actually picking a piece out of that furniture as your primary reference that we need to put all your cuts against. Now I'll say this is the minimum approach to building quality furniture because you have exact measurements against that piece, but not to the design that you intend. And that's where we want to move to, like I would call exact fitting. So this is where you use math. So if I want a five degree angle or I want 28 inches from the, you know, from the bottom of the floor to the tabletop, you know, you're leading with what you want versus fitting to a particular piece. And then you need to know math to get there. And the last part of it is bringing scale to that, that math that you just learned. And this is bringing in software to quickly change those dimensions and change how your piece of furniture may look. But for today, that's more for like a professional setting. I want to show you the, the basis of the math that goes into this so you can build high quality furniture on your, your projects in your shop. So last week I released a white oak desk build. Uh, you can see the link in the description or above where I had some design features. I wanted to incorporate it and I wanted my build to fit exactly those dimensions as intended. So here are those. I had the desk I wanted to be 29 inches tall and a depth of 25 inches. I wanted a slight angle, about five degrees on those legs. And I wanted those legs to be one and one half inch width. The other component is that I wanted the inset of my table legs at the bottom to be one inch from the table top edge. Now my thought here was that as you walk around your desk, you don't want those legs to be you know, at the same width or even further out because you'll run the risk of tripping over them. And the biggest questions of all this is how long should I cut those legs, the aprons and the stretchers to fit exactly those requirements rather than just guessing. Now, there are two math functions that we can leverage here to get that leg length and what are those angles? And the first is Pythagorean theorem. So this allows you to get an unknown length of any right triangle, which we're solving for C. So in woodworking, we want to identify what's that leg length. So when we take A squared plus B squared equals C squared and we solve for C, we can get that leg length. The other component of it is what is that angle when it comes to right, that same right side of triangle that I need to make a miter cut against it. And that's where we use inverse tangent. Now, these seem very complex and takes you all the way back to high school and you may be triggered right now, but I'm gonna walk you through this. It's actually very simple. And I got calculators in here that you can just plug in the numbers that allows you to get those exact dimensions. So keep this link as a reference. You can come back towards it. So here's our, some live examples. I'll walk you through, keep it very simple. And I have links to each one of these components here. So you can use a Pythagorean theorem calculator. You can change these decibels to a fraction or you keep, you know, for imperial uh, or metric. And same thing with the inverse tangent. So here's an example where we are solving for C. Let's say we have a table leg here. We don't know the angle of it yet, but we want to know what that length is. But we want the table depth to be 27 inches and we want it to be inset 5 inches. What is the length of that leg? So this is where we take the a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which is the Pythagorean theorem, and we plug that in. Now when we do five, the square root of 5 squared plus 27 squared, so that's these two measurements right here, we get 27 inches 0.45. Or in imperial, it's 27 and 29 sixty fourths. The other component of it is, what is the angle that I need to cut that miter on so that I have the exact length of this leg? So using the same dimensions here, and we're gonna use a function called inverse tangent. So this is so this is a trig function where you take the opposite side length, so 27, over the adjacent side, five, and this is all from the angle of what you're looking at. So inverse tangent of 27 over five is 79.5 degrees. And again, I just wanna let you know that these links right here are down below, so you can just click on this, punch these numbers in, and you'll get exactly that. 
So let's actually solve this problem using the build video that I did last week with the exact dimensions. So first off, it's just like a puzzle. You want to work backwards, work with the knowns, so like the edges. So in this case, I had a five degree design requirement that I want on the legs to splay outward towards the edges. So 90 minus five is 85 degrees. We know the height is 28 inches because my tabletop is one inch and the total floor to tabletop was 29. So that makes this 28 inches tall, which is B. What we don't know is the inset of A and we don't know the leg length, which is C. In order to get these lengths, let's figure out what is the inset of A. So in inverse tangent, we know that opposite over adjacent gets us that angle, but we don't have the adjacent right here. So we have to reverse the inverse of tangent. So we know 85 degrees. So let's inverse that. So inverse of tangent 85 is 11.43. All right, so 11.43 equals 28 inches over A that we don't know. So let's solve for A. So 28 over 11.43 that equals 2.45 inches. Now let's do this with a calculator so we can just get an idea. So if we do 85, by the way, you gotta change your calculator to scientific, hit this trig trigonometry function here, hit tangent, you can see the 11.43. All right, now we need to solve for A. So 28 divided by 11.43, that equals 2.45. So now we know A, Let's take that next component and solve for C. So we know the 85 degrees, we know the 28, we now know the 2.45 inches on the inset. What is the length of the leg? This is where we'll use Pythagorean theorem to solve for C. So that's where we do the square root of 2.45, that's right here. And then the square root of 28 squared of the depth or the tabletop to the bottom. And we do the square root of that that is 28.11 or 28 and 1 16th. Now that we know the leg length, how do we actually understand what is the apron, the distance? All right, remember, we're trying to get a one inch inset on both sides. Now let's work with the knowns that we have here. So we know the tabletop is 25 inches in depth. We know we want to inset an inch on both sides. We know now that the 2.45 inches accounts for the leg angle of the 85 degrees. And we also know the leg width is one and a half inches. What is the apron length? So this is just subtraction here. So we got the tabletop, that's the width we have there, minus the front and back leg insets of the table leg. So that's the 2.45 plus the 2.45 minus the one inch inset on the front and the back of the table, and then minus the one and one half inch on the front and back side of the table. So when you subtract all that, that gives you 15.1 inches or 15 and 3 30 seconds. That is how long the apron needs to be. Now, how about the stretcher? Now, this all depends on how far down you want to make your stretcher go. In this case, I want it to be 10 inches. So let's work with all the knowns that we have here. We know that the apron length is 15.1 inches. We know the base is 15.1 because when I make a rectangle, I make it 90 degree and that becomes a rectangle, and we want the stretcher to be 10 inches below the apron. So now that we got part of this triangle here, we're basically doing the exact same steps here that we did on the legs to get out those dimensions. So what is the structure length? So we know five degrees is this little area right here. Now we need to work backwards. We don't know the opposite of this little triangle here, but we do know the adjacent, which is 10 right here, so if we do tangent of five, that equals 0 0.087. So we solve for O, that is 10 times 0 0.87, which is equals 0 0.87 of an inch. So what you do is now you have that little dimension here for both sides now. So you add the stretcher length, which is 15.1, I'm oh, sorry, the apron length, and then you add the two ends of those triangles, so 0 0.87 times two, that stretcher length is gonna be 16.84 or 16, 27 to 37 inches. And that's how you solve getting all the dimensions to exact for your cut list.